Hallie, since the day that Hunter Biden was indicted, this has been an mm. ongoing question of, is this, a is this going to be political baggage weighing down on the president's campaign? What's the view right now? Well, even now, Lester, that is still somewhat of an open question, only because there is just not a lot of polling recently that tells us how voters are feeling about what has happened to Hunter Biden. And obviously, since this uh, guilty verdict came in in just the last couple of minutes, we don't have it yet. Here's what I can tell you about the broader political landscape here, that overall numbers over the course of the last six, eight months or so prior to this trial beginning suggested that the majority of voters felt that Hunter Biden was being treated fairly by the justice system. And frankly, not many of them felt like this would change their position. The ones who did, that fell almost entirely along partisan lines. So it seems unlikely, at least at this point, based on the information we have, that this could move the needle much with persuadable voters. That said, in one survey, about 2% of Democrats suggested that perhaps if Hunter Biden were to be convicted, that could sway them one way or the other or sway them away from President Biden tiny slice of the electorate. This is going to be a close election. But again, we've got to, I think, hit the brakes a bit on that piece of it because we just don't know how this will play out more broadly, how many people are paying attention here to what's happening. If you look at the way that this could impact the campaign from the president's perspective, you heard Gabe Gutierrez there from the White House North Lawn talk about it. This has been a searingly gut-wrenching trial in many ways for the Biden family. You think about those moments when you had Hunter Biden's daughter on the stand recounting very difficult moments with her father, Hunter Biden himself nearly in tears. Remember that the prosecution acknowledged this, calling much of the evidence that was laid out in this case personal and ugly, but calling that absolutely necessary and describing to the jury how everything that brought Hunter Biden to this point were his choices and his alone. The jury obviously today with this guilty verdict, with this conviction, bought the prosecution's argument essentially as Hunter Biden is now convicted. Lester, keep in mind that while we don't know his sentencing date, we do know that this is not the last collision between Hunter Biden's legal issues and his father's political campaign here because remember what happens in September. That is the date, at least for now, of Hunter Biden's next criminal trial on those felony tax charges for, as the prosecution lays out in that instance, spending his money on everything but taxes, essentially, on drugs, on illicit sex partners, et cetera. So this is not going to be the last time that we will see Hunter Biden or hear about uh, some of his behaviors and some of his actions, Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.